Boris Johnson's first big speech since leaving the EU. I won't even mention the name of the controversy, except to say that it begins with B and it's receding in the past behind us. Brexit. It's still not over, whatever the PM says. The future trade deal's not even begun. The PM trying to dial down the drama. Let's be clear, the choice is emphatically not deal or no deal. We have a deal. The question is whether we agree a trading relationship with the EU comparable to Canada's or more like Australia's. But what does that mean? Canada has a trade deal with the EU, Australia doesn't. So we're back to deal or no deal after all. You said in the election that there was absolutely zero chance that the UK would leave the EU with no deal. Now you seem to be talking up no deal as an Australian style arrangement. We have a deal. And what I said during the election, you'll have heard me say many, many times, we have a deal, it's a great deal, and it was oven ready and it's gone through. That is a, a new euphemism for no deal, isn't it? Because there is no trade agreement you can point to. As I said to, to Beth, we have a, a deal, and we're coming out, we have come out on the basis of that. The deal that you did was a divorce deal. You do not yet have a long-term deal. I just want to repeat what I said earlier on. We've got a deal. It's a, it's a great deal. We're out. Mr Johnson's cheerleaders happy to toe the line. There's no doubt in my mind that for both the EU and for the UK, it's going to be in our interest that we get a good deal. But, ju but just one thing, it is fair to say that Australia style deal is, is no deal. I mean, Australia are negotiating an FTA with the EU at the moment. Well, no, as the Prime Minister said, we have a deal. Donald Trump's man in London more interested in a deal with the US. I'm optimistic. I think, you know, the Prime Minister's schedule is by the end of the year, and I think that's totally doable. What should he prioritise, the EU or the US? Well, that's up to the Prime Minister. The Labour leader says no deal's still a risk, and time is short. He has not published what his negotiating objective is between now and the end of the year when he's got to reach an agreement with the European Union. The European Union will no doubt be very strong on maintaining alignment on regulations. He has got to come up with an answer. This the moment we left the EU, but the clock ticking now on a new deadline. 11 months to secure a trade deal with Europe or face another Brexit cliff edge. Beth Rigby, Sky News, Westminster.